Hey guys, Rivetted here. Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you're doing well today. I would stop and say hello, but I'm not. I got a mission. <clears throat> I'm gonna go talk to Sebastian. Learn a curse, apparently. So that should be fun. Uh, last episode was okay. You know, <clears throat> not too sure how much I feel about the interior decorating part of the game, but that's okay. I mean, everybody wants to do things the way that they want to do them, and I get that. Fully support it. I like the fact that they do have the abil ability in the game to do things like that. I just noticed this. Rebellion. I am a nut for collecting that crap. If I spot it, I'm trying to take it. So let's go and continue on. So yeah, it, it was fun, but again, not my favorite aspect in the game so far. But it's not my cup of tea. <clears throat> Sebastian. Okay. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, Excellent. let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Of course you well, do, you Sebastian. took the fall for me, and that counts for something. It does. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Ooh. This way. <clears throat> Following you. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. So well detected that I didn't even spot it. I just happened to know how to go in there. <laughs> how did you find this place? <coughs> My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. Okay, cool. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Oh. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. You he never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. No, I understand that we completely. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no oh, spell cool. could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. Okay. But this place is special to him. Understood. But... Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh, wow. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place <laughs> to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Ooh. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I think it's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I can agree with I'm that. admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Good to know. It may take a while to get the feel for it. You've not seen me Mimic with spells yet. Wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay. Con 
Fringo it is. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yes. Stick to the target. Okay. Can Fringo? Is that it? Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Can Fringo? Nice. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I like it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. I, I know the I did. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Ann. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Ann. She could use some cheering up. I could do that. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, <laughs> Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> and yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I that is think weird. that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? It I, does. I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting <coughs> curses in order. Uh, yeah. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. That I can do. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Uh, is there anything in here? There are some chests. You can't say no to extra gold. There was something here. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Let's do our gear. Not using those. Nine robes. <clears throat> As much as I love it, we will be doing our change Rooney. Uh, okay, you can buy the upgrades. I'm just double check. Like, <clears throat> like we have these no traits. But I don't know how to apply a trait. I don't know if we have them available to us or anything. So wait, what did I do? Okay. Let 
we're doing okay. <clears throat> Talents, I think I have a couple of points to spend, or one. Let's see. Greater heal. Okay. <coughs> here we go. Do I have anything else here? Eight of ten, one of five. I don't think we've got anything to unlock. Yeah, nothing yet. Uh, got that one complete. Okay. We're getting there. There's so much stuff. Why do I? Okay. I just have to um just have to spot it so that it doesn't drive me insane. I think we're doing okay with these things. I mean honestly, I mean I'm I'm just collecting what I can, but I'm content with what we've done. <clears throat> okay. Like little swoop of my cape there. So I think we had oh, shit. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Mm. I don't that want to throw him under it. room's called the Undercroft. <clears throat> ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. No need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Wow. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I'll enjoy your uh, being a jackass. Okay. Quests. Mm -hmm. I think we have one more to do. <coughs> Acquire and use a focus potion. Oh my god. So let's go into map Hogsmeade potions. And pray that I can find the potions I need. Oh god. Well, we'll see. I haven't bought anything yet, <clears throat> so I don't mind throwing some money at a potion or two or three. That, that's me? fine. Come. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawin. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. <clears throat> Once you've completed okay. a few prerequisite tasks, five hundred. See me after class. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay. 
I hope to what see you need? again. Farewell Maxima and Idurus. What can I do for you today? Okay. A wise decision. Thank you. <laughs> this cost me a fair chunk of cash. Thunderbrew. Oh god, it would have cost me more. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, let's see if we can do some stuff. I would hate... I'm going to do something here real quick. Just because. I'm going to save here. And then if I screw up, I can load that save, right? So... Revelio. Okay. Focus potion. How do you acquire the... Okay. Mm -hmm. Load game. <clears throat> oh, great. How do you load them at the same time? Like, how? I, I got nothing. Okay. Hmm. I'm not too sure about that. Let's just double check it again. I don't like not knowing how to use things simultaneously. But it's okay. I will look that up. We will go to Professor Fig. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, not everything in the game is very intuitive for me, so I have to learn some things, so it's okay. Uh... Oi, can you help me? You and that weird voice, man. I'm not helping you yet. Got the weirdest voice in this game. Okay, there is something here. Okay, I didn't know that was there. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. <coughs> Mr. Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Mm -hmm. Eldridge Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite <laughs> an experience. But 
You see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died, so I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. <clears throat> oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Please. Okay, now this is getting good. This is what I was kind of hoping for. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. <laughs> Peeves is always a pain in the backside. To think it was beneath us all this time. Wow, this is a cool looking room. <clears throat> I guess this is where we put the book. Looks promising. Okay, this is cool shit. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey. We but they were not shit trials yet. themselves. <laughs> the fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong Smart. hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. 
I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. <laughs> Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? Innately. I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. <coughs> you will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. This is cool. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. For their safety. Okay. That was cool shit. I dug that a lot. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to pause here. And uh, we will go off to the tower in our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. This is a song for all.